In the last video, we looked at how to split our website into includes to make it more manageable. So we created three pages, the home page, the captain page, and the command page, and they all share the same header and footer. Now, if you remember before we started this, on the captain page, right here, it actually said captain, whereas on the home page, it said not every color survives. So this is kind of like the heading for that page. So I feel like on command, it should say command here. Now, if we look at the captain page, so we're interested in changing it to say captain. So that information is inside of header. So I'm going to go into header and I'll change this to, to be captain. So I change it to captain. Now you can see it says captain here on the home page. If I go to captain, it says captain, and I go to command, it says captain again, which makes sense because this header.php file is shared between all of the pages. So what we want to do is we want to have this area sort of be flexible. So we want to be able to change it from page to page. And that's where variables come in. So we could create a variable that contains the information we want here, and then we could just write it out onto that page. So let's go back to our index page, and let's make a variable. So let's call it header. So on the home page, we want it to say not every color survives. Okay. So that's what we wanted to say on our home page. So we'll go to the captain page and we'll make the variable here also. So header captain. So we have this variable and you'll notice that I created it here before I did my include. So any variables you create before an include will be available in your include. So if we go to header.php, I can change this here now to echo my header variable. So whatever each page specifies inside of header will be shown here. So let's go to the home page. You can see it says not every color survives. We'll go to the captain page and you can see, look, it says captain. So let's go to the command page now. And you probably saw this a second ago. This is a PHP error. And it says undefined variable header. So we're on the command page and it's giving us this undefined variable header. So let's go look at command. And you'll notice here that we didn't create the header variable at the top of this page. So our header PHP include is trying to use that variable, but it doesn't exist yet. So we need to make sure to create it here. So let's write command here. There we go. So that's working. That's beautiful. Now, another thing you may have remember from the original design is that the heading right here, it was actually green. So it mimicked the page color. So command should be yellow, captain should be green, and the home page remains gray. And in our CSS, we had a class to do this. So the classes were, you know, captain, command, um, sciences, and operations. Let me just see if I can find them again in here at the very bottom, yeah. So dot .captain, dot .command, dot .sciences, and so on. And the way that we changed the color was we, we put the class in here. So let me put the class in here, and you can see now it's green, right? Now it's green on every page, which is not what we want. So again, we want to make this sort of class right here flexible. So let's put another variable. We'll echo Let's call it header class. So that's another variable that we're going to use. So we need to go and create it on all the pages that we want. So on the home page, we want that to be nothing. So I'm just going to make it an empty string. And then on the captain page, we want that to be equal to captain. All right, and then on the command page, we want that to be command. So 
there we go. So now what we're doing is we're creating this variable called header class. It has just a word in it. And we're actually using that in our header as a class in our HTML. So you can see the captain page is green, the command page is yellow, and the home page is gray. So let's go look at our HTML here to see what's happening. And you can see right here, look, our PHP again is gone. The only thing that's left is whatever we're writing out with PHP. So the captain page is echoing out captain. If we switch to the command page, you can see, look, it's writing out command. So we're creating sort of a system now where it's a lot easier for us to edit this stuff and we can share this CSS between our different pages.